check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Firefly, little birdie. Firefly. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Firefly. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you got the full card artwork there of Firefly Combiner Wars Generations, you know the drill. Transformers! Firefly cards, Superion, 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 other obligatory product shots, the obligatory product shots, and your three word bio, Aerial Bot Recon Specialist, Nine Stars! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, of course, included in the packaging, you get the collector's card! Yay! Cool artwork, though. I like it. I did the artwork. Yay! Yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> moving right along, here we have Firefly. Not Fireflight, but Firefly. Apparently they lost the rights to the name, so he's Firefly now. But we all know it's Fireflight. Um, there he is in his jet mode, and it's it's a nicely done jet mode. It's it's a red jet. Um, I like the way the wings came out. They look really nice with the white and the blue and the gold. Very cool, nice tampoed auto, uh, Autobot symbol there. Again, the tail fin done in that same color scheme. And just like the other ones, he does have the visible arm syndrome. It's just right there. There's no hiding it. It's it's there. But um, nice silver paint here on the cockpit section, as well as these air intakes. On the underside, you can pretty much see the whole robot mode. Um, he is the only one, well, the only one of the Limbots, anyway, that actually has a uh, landing gear, which is nice. Silverbolt does also, but of the, uh, of the deluxe guys, he's the only one so far that has a landing gear. So, that's nice. But, uh, yeah, there he is. There's Fire Flights now. For comparison, we will bring in, what will we bring in? We'll bring in Armada Starscream. He's kind of been the standard for comparisons for these Combiner War figures. So, there you go. A little bit shorter there than Starscream. And we'll bring in his buddies. Here is Skydive. You can see. Same size as Skydive. And we'll bring in their helicopter buddy here, Alpha Bravo. You can see. Obviously, uh, Alpha Bravo is a bit longer, but there you go. There you got the three aerial bots that we have so far. So, yeah. Flying vehicles! Woo! Flying vehicles. So we have that. Here is TFCs, not Fireflight, which, as you can see, is obviously way, way larger. Because it makes for a much, a much larger combined mode. But there you have TFC's offering for this particular aerial bot. And, of course, G1 Precious! So precious! Precious! There you go. You can see it's a little bit... Tad bit longer. These guys are only like a tad bit longer than the G1 counterparts. Which is kind of funny. So... There you have that. Now, of course, he does come with accessories. He comes with his gun, right here, which is pretty cool. I like this design. I dig it. I dig it very much. So there you have his gun. And, of course, he comes with the hand slash foot for combined mode, and this one is molded to look like this two big double-barreled you know, the double -barreled cannon of murder justice. So there you have that. And, of course, you do have the mounting points here. you got two ports underneath the wings. So if you want, you can take them and mount them like that. So he can tilt awkwardly as he's flying because that will probably be way too heavy. But, hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? So There you have that. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. And, as always, we'll just go from... 
combined mode into robot mode. So first thing we'll do again, as usual, we'll be going into the foot mode because that's the easiest mode to get to from here. So we'll just flip up these fins right here. Take this fin, flip that up like that. Flip the wings back like that. Flip up the landing gear, take the section, bring it back, bring it up on this hinge. These will tab in right there. Plug that right in. And again, you want to rotate the head so you don't get visible head syndrome there in combined mode. And open these up for clearance. Bring that around. Peg these back in. These actually do tab back in. You see the little tabs right there that go into those grooves right in there. Sometimes it could be a little tricky to get them back in. There we go. So there you have that. Then you bring it out to the foot. Plug it in. And there you go. Foot mode. Shin mode, really. There you go. Have his foot mode. And again, you just have the rotation here at the ankle. You got your clickety clackety knee joint as well as the rotational. The nice ratcheted rotational joint right there at that connector piece. So, there you have that. And the gun, if you want to store it, you can I guess, plug it onto the wing somehow. Like that. You can have shin guns. Why not? Dare I say why not? So, there you go. There you got the leg mode. He's a big red leg. So now we'll move on to arm mode. So we'll remove that. So now we're going to do the exact same leg transformation that they all do. <laughs> hey, they found something that worked and they went with it. They said, we're going to use this transformation for all of them. So you just want to split open the legs, bring them down on that double hinge. And you want to make sure, again, that these tabs are facing outward, like that. Bring these up again. The tabs will plug in to those slots right there. Lock that in place, like so. And the arms actually untab themselves. The arms were just tabbed in right, right there. And once you untab the arms, you want to bring them up at that shoulder joint. Bring the arm back, and you're going to plug the hand right over this this tab right here and it doesn't really lock it in or anything it's just pretty much a resting point so they just take it and it just sits right over right over that tab right there he's just gently holding it he's like just just stay here stay with me we'll be safe here <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing anymore but anyway second verse same as the first Bring the arm up at that joint, bring it back, and have him ever so gently cup that tab with his hand. Right there. There you go. And, as usual, you want to rotate the head so you don't have invisible head syndrome in combined mode! Bring that out like that. Rotate at the waist so you have your elbow joint. And you come here, flip out... Flip out the fingers, bring down this whole assembly, bring down the thumb, and as usual, he can be a left or a right hand, totally up to you because it swings both ways. So you just take that, plug it in, and there you go. There you have Firefly in his arm mode. So there you have it. Now the instructions tell you to actually leave these tail fins out, so I mean, totally up to you. I mean, that looks fine too, but if you want, you can flip them up. However you wish to display him. But, yeah. The instructions do tell you to just leave him out. But, again, whatever you want to do, it's your toy. Do what you want. I don't care. But, again, you do. You have your bicep swivel. You have your double-jointed elbow right there. You have your wrist rotation. You got your thumb movement, your thumb swinging. The fingers only wiggle a little bit. You can't open them and close them via that transformation hinge right there. And you do have the ports on either side, again, depending on what side you're plugging it onto, to hold a weapon, like so. And there you go. And again, you have the same movement here at that connector piece. So, there you have that. So now we'll just get down to robot mode. So you just want to bring this down. You want to rotate it so these black pieces are facing forward. Split the legs, and guess what? You're done. You're done with the legs. Yay! Now you just want to take those hands, bring it out, 
Bring it down, second verse, same as the first, bring it out, bring it down. Bring down the connector port to flip up the head, rotate the head, and there you go. There you have Firefly in his robot mode, and I like his robot mode. Really cool. I I think he's my favorite out of the three, well, out of the four aerial bots that we have so far. I, I like him the most. I really like his design. Very, very cool. Getting closer on the head sculpt. It's a very nice head sculpt. If my camera will focus on it. Come on, remember. There we go. But very nice head sculpt. I like the silver paint here. He's got some silver at the top of his head. Silver mouth plate, nice blue eyes, nice silver here on the chest as well as the blue. You got nice Autobot symbol right there. Some more of that blue. But yeah, I, I like his design the most. He's got silver toes. That's precious. But yeah, I, I do. I like his design. I, I like him the most so far. He's pretty, pretty cool. So, yeah. How much circulation wise his head is on a ball joint. You get a little a bit of wiggly waggly room but not a lot but you can you can look up he flies so he should be able to look up like hey sky you know I want to go there because I can fly and stuff look sorry, sorry. the <laughs> shoulders are on a ball joint with full range of movement go all the way out again you also have that uh, transformation joint you can make use of also if you want you do have a swivel here at the elbow as well as a clickety this one you can hear the clicks can you hear it? very soft but it's there clickety elbow joints you do have your waist rotation the hips are on a ball joint you got your thigh swivel you got 90 degrees of knee bend and, of course, nothing at the feet. And the feet are, as usual, molded in that, uh, in that angled stance. So, there you go. And, of course, he can hold his weapons. Plug his gun in there. Plug his big double-barreled cannon of murder justice into his other hand. Just like that. Now you do have these ports available on the wings, so if you wanted to, I guess you could take this and plug it into the side, maybe. Yeah, there's, that's, that, that's, yeah, no, that's kind of weird. That's just, that's just weird. That's, that's just weird. Just hold it, just hold it. There you go. <laughs> Doesn't make that much more sense, but, you know, hey. But there you go, now for comparison! Here he is with our mother Starscream. Again, just so you can get a sense of how he scales. A little bit taller. And here he is with his buddies. Here's Skydive. Here is Alpha Bravo, the new kid on the block. So, yeah. Good looking team so far. Good looking team if you ask me. We have that. I have stuff falling over over here. You stand up because it's normal. Here he is with TFCs, not fire flights. I just don't want to stand for some reason. Come on, man. Because I still have this thing attached to his foot, that's why. Because I'm lazy, I didn't want to pull it out. But there you go. There you have TFCs offering right there. And of course I have mine's uh, repro labeled out. So, they have TFC's version, and of course, G1 British, it's so British, aww, they have that, and just because he's been in all the gags so far, here he is with classics, Voyager Prime, there you go, so, yeah, he's cool, um, I think he's my my favorite of the deluxes so far. I like him. Him, him and uh, him and Alpha Bravo are really are really tickling me in the right spots. I think these two are the best in this first wave of uh, of deluxes. Anyway, as far as the deluxes go, I think these two are the best. I, I really do like them. But yeah, he's he's definitely a neat figure. Again, simplified, but he does everything he needs to do, and I think you know he does it pretty well. Um, 
yeah, neat figure. Neat figure. I do like it, so. We'll be chugging right along with Combiner Wars, and that's pretty much all for this guy. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Firefly, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, palm in your face! Sir, I'm here! You didn't see the other guys, did you? Other guys? There, yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I, I didn't realize. You're gonna go look for them, aren't you? Well, I, I think I should. Just go! Just, just go. Yes, yes sir, yes sir. I swear to Primus if... Sir! Go! They're not here! Oh, right, sir! Sir, have you seen the... Get out of here! Just get out! Yes, sir. <sighs> Are you enjoying this? Are you? Yeah! Well, 